Hello, YouTube. I'm back here at FedEx Field again. I'm uh, doing another speed test on the, my versus AT&T versus T-Mobile this time. AT&T had such a good showing here. I wanted to see how T-Mobile stacked up at the same exact spot. Plus, I wanted to get a baseline of how the network over here is actually running without anybody on it and then come back on a game day and then do the run the same battery or test. So right now, as you can see, we're back here at FedEx Field. And as you can see, there are no uh, cell towers that are live for 5G in the vicinity, but we are still getting the 5G icon for T-Mobile, which is on the left. And we're only getting LTE on the right for AT&T. So this is the straight network to network heads up, not a 5G versus 4G, whatever the system, whatever they're offering at this spot is what I'm getting. So to give you a good look and see, So as you can see, band 66, band 30, N41 for T-Mobile, no 5G for AT&T, and one carrier aggregation for band 2, 10 megahertz. So we're gonna run a battery of test real quick and see what happens. So the first one is Google speed test get a baseline to see what the capacity might look like. Alrighty. N41 is not showing up here either, even though we are connected. AT&T is 24.9 megabits down and T-Mobile on the left is 4.23 megabits down. And 10 megabits up for AT&T and 4.6 megabits up for T-Mobile. Alrighty. Moving on to speed test. So right now, T-Mobile is struggling in this area. AT&T is pretty solid, so they might have a lot more capacity on game day than they're showing right now. Uh, T-Mobile is not showing up as much. I'm getting about 61 down versus 92 down for AT&T. Alrighty. Fast.com. And fast.com shows you exactly how much throughput your device is going to get from the networks in this area. So basically think of it kind of like a water hose. How much of that water are you going to end up getting? So 36 megabits for T-Mobile, 71 for AT&T. Alrighty, and in perf. And go. Mm 
T-Mobile's getting slammed here. Uh, 2.7 megabits max versus AT&T's 87.97 megabits max. Sorry, moved on to the Facebook. They timed out on Google on T-Mobile. Moving to the video test for AT&T. They timed out multiple times for T-Mobile on the browsing test. Now we're going to see what the streaming look like. Seven twenty P for AT and T is already done. They're on to the ten eighty. T Mobile. And as you can see, browsing for T-Mobile is not very good at this spot. AT&T is a little bit better, but streaming is way better on AT&T. So that means they got plenty of throughput. But as you can see, the download test, uh, 2.75. Game day cannot be that way with a whole bunch of people in this stadium. So one more test and that will be PUBG download a 706 megabits file and three, two, one, go. So if you look at the top corner, I have a network monitoring app and you can tell what the connection is right now. So AT&T is pulling about 108 megabits per second to download this. I'm at 33% on AT&T and 27% on T-Mobile. 44 to 33. Sixty to thirty six, seventy six to thirty six, ninety five to forty three, and ninety eight to forty three. Finished installation for AT&T. Well, that lets you know how much capacity is at this stadium right now for AT&T. I think that on game day, it's going to be very interesting to see what they're going to, what they can end up doing. But thank you for watching. If this helped you, uh, hit like. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And I'll see you next time.